Well, an Associated Press investigation has found a large number of Catholic dioceses across the U.S. received aid through the Paycheck Protection Program. And all while the church itself sits on well over $10 billion in cash, short-term investments, or other available funds. Matt Stone joins us with information about how much the Youngstown Catholic Diocese received during the pandemic. Well, our local diocese received a little over $2 million from that program. It was part of the $1.5 billion in taxpayer-backed aid that was given to the Catholic Church in America as a whole. Now, our local diocese says they did use that funds to help preserve hundreds of local jobs. When the coronavirus first hit, churches were forced to close their doors and give up Sunday collection. According to the AP, some dioceses reported an income drop of 40% or more at the time, and their schools took hits when fundraisers were canceled and families had trouble paying tuition. Since they didn't know where their income would come from, the Roman Catholic Diocese turned to the Paycheck Protection Program. The low-interest bank loans would be forgiven by the federal government as long as recipients used the money to cover wages and operating expenses. The Diocese of Youngstown has 2,500 paid employees, many who work at its schools, and they use the $2 million in PPP to pay them. Their chief financial officer says many parishes survive on the collection plates to stay open and do not have cash reserve on hand. I can assure you that the parishes throughout the diocese operate on minimal amounts of reserves. A lot of them, you know, take the Sunday offertory to help uh, pay the upcoming short term the expenses within the next week or so in many cases. Kelly says the Vatican does have a lot of money, but none of it is used to fund any parishes in America. They all need to be self-sufficient. Any capital projects, they have to have special fundraiser or solicit donors to, to do anything above the normal uh, operating expenses. National church officials tell the AP that the pandemic's full toll won't probably be seen until a year or so from now because some key sources of revenue are calculated based on income that parishes and schools generate. With more local news, I'm Matt Stone.